All right, I've got a pause screen created for this soccer game. Let's show you that real quick. So we have the resume button, which continues the game. Uh, there's this one problem with the resume button, but I know what the issue is and it will get fixed whenever I work on the passing some more. So let me show you what it is. If I've got the ball, I press start and then I press resume, it passes it. And that's because passing takes place on a button up instead of a button down. And the reason for that is so we can control how hard we want to pass, which I have not implemented yet. So it just passes a standard pass force every single time. But I'm going to get it to where if you hold down pass, you'll pass it harder. And if you just tap pass, you'll just do a, do a soft pass. But that's why that doesn't work. Or that's why it does that. See, every time I press resume, they pass it. It's because I'm pressing down to resume the game. But then when the button comes back up, the game's already started again and they pass it. All right, moving on to restart. Press restart and oh, looks like I just found an issue with that. So when I restart the game, I need to go through each player and see if they have possession of the ball and make them lose possession. So I'll get that fixed. I'm going to make a quick note of that really quick. For the most part, it does what I want it to. Um, and we quit. It takes us back to the main menu. We can select a different team. We're back in the game. Ah, and look at that. The timer didn't restart up in the top. Found something else for all three of my buttons in the pause screen that I need to fix. So let me jot that down as well. But for the most part, it does do what I want it to do. And let's take a look at it. It's fairly simple. We've got our event system, our canvas. I, I added a camera initially just for testing, but then I noticed that it actually, I kind of liked the way it looked. Um, whenever the game is paused, I like how it, it just moves in like that. So I decided to keep the camera. That was not planned. Um, kind of an unintentional bug, if you would even call it that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got our... We've got our panel, our pause text, our resume button, which notice again, I don't put anything in the on click. I do it all by script and that's because uh, the pause screen is actually a scene by itself. Um, and we just load it additively uh, to the scene whenever we pause it and then unload the scene whenever we unpause. <clears throat> so I can't just drag in the resume game, uh, resume game functionality um, because it's in a different scene. But it, these are really simple scripts. Let me just show you the resume button. I mean, look at that. Look how small it is. And you just drag it on the button you want and it'll just work. Uh, I've covered this in other videos. But the uh, the secret here is just the button dot on click add listener. And then just the name of the method that you want to call uh, whenever the button's clicked. You can do several methods. You see, I got two right here. Um, so that's the resume button. Look at the restart button. Basically the same thing, just for the slightly different, uh, method being called. And all these live in our game manager. Got a, <clears throat> I've got a region for scene management down here. And I got more functions up here for, to resume the game, restart the game, quit the game, pause the game. And for the most part, that's it. It's fairly simple. Um, I like to use a a new scene for for my UI elements because of the event system. You can only have one event system at a time in a in a scene or a in a game, or you're you're supposed to only have one. And it's good to just have one at a time because then you can drag in the first selected. 
uh, like the button that you want to be highlighted first whenever you activate that UI. Um, so it'll work with game pads and keyboard as well. So that's why I like to do that. Um, if you have a bunch of different UIs crammed in one scene, it's going to be pretty much impossible to manage, um, especially in the long term. So that's why I like to break it up into a, a separate scene by itself. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as that really does help me a lot with YouTube's algorithm.